Okay. Um, we're just going to do this again, but I'm up to 26 subscribers. I've been going for a couple years, basically. But this came from where the Sears that I used to work at that I um, left before they closed. Um... Yeah, the Sears that I used to work at, they told everyone, um, oh, don't worry, we're not going to close. Oh, we'll be still here for many years. Well, then last year, in 2018, they announced they were closing it. <laughs> so, I was the shoulder to cry on to a lot of my former co-workers. Um, uh, someone on eBay has one like this. And they're trying to get over $300 out of it. Out of theirs, anyway. Da -da -da. So, um... And they have not, far as I know, been able to sell theirs. Um... My husband is pushing me to sell this since that person's trying to get $300. And I'm like... Any or three hundred dollars, and I don't really want to sell it because, um, unfortunately, my old coworkers at Sears had asked me to go buy a fixture from where I used to work at. Otherwise, the original plan was I wasn't going to buy anything from where I used to work at for fixtures, because then it would remind me of working there. <laughs> so. Um, but come to find out, this year's hometown that came last year, they got the same store display, that's what I got here, and I'm pretty sure it's newer than this one was. Alright, there you can see the Ken Moore. Um, I tried to get, um, a shop. A little hand basket from the Sears I used to work at, but one of their employees had told me, let's say, back in November, October, that they weren't going to sell anything that said Sears on it. I'm like, okay, whatever. You didn't have too many shopping carts or baskets anyway. So they probably shipped them to another location is what happened. You know, and unfortunately that's where some people on eBay can buy up a lot of them. I got three of that shackle basket. I had two of that one, but I sold the one on eBay. So that's the only one I got like that right now. They are getting hard to find this um, 90s logo one on at the store that I've been going to currently. Otherwise, I do have two of the wheeled shot coal baskets. So, I have three of the tan one with the wire handles. But, you know, I even been keeping my eyes open at the Eau Claire Shackle for older baskets all of a sudden pop up, you know. Because that is older than the Chippewa one. But from the way it looks on their signs, and I don't get it. The Eau Claire one closes in two weeks on a Friday. And the way it looks, the Chippewa Falls one closes on my next weekend off. Which, which is in two weeks, and they close on a Saturday. <laughs> so... And it all depends on if the signage was right or if they forgot to or not um, change it. You know, it's so easy to forget to, you know. And nobody knows what's going into the Chippewa Falls shop co. Or if anything will. The building was up for sale, but then um, it got taken off for being for sale, so, but, 
Only time on that will tell what happens. But I really like this though. <laughs> But online, if you Google this, um, store display, they claim it's rare. But my husband says, you know, there's probably a lot of them actually out there, but there's people holding on to them, or the stores, um, I hate to say it, threw it in the dumpster. I, this was not price I had to, back when, in 2018, ask the store manager, for a price on this, and he said, I'll sell it to you for $15, and I bought it. And he unplugged it for me and walked me to the register and checked me out with this. So, I, I do love this store fixture, but, you know... It's not always the best thing, but... <laughs> so... And it kind of just tells you right there what, what it's doing. This isn't a real washer, but it's just made to, to sell someone the real washer. Which is a... Smart motion technology can more, you know. So. It's very. <laughs> but it lights up. And it's got a cord, so. Um. Pretty much, um, the way it looks, I probably will be able to go to, um, Shackle and Chippewa's, um, final day. So, um, that'll be another thing to see if I could get there early in the morning. Because if my husband has to work later, he ain't gonna let me, um, get out of the house right away. <laughs> This shackle, they open at 9 a.m. So, um, th that's sort of the plan right now. Um, <laughs> and I still, I think, like, even my husband said, Why did you uh, take the clothing reacher? That Charlotte Roos gave you. And I'm like. Well they told me I I can just take it. And I have to pay for it. <laughs> so I took it as a gift. Basically. Um, I'm like this is weird. Because um, Sears seriously was selling the same thing. For a dollar each. And I should have bought it for a dollar. But then Charlotte Roos. Gave me a real good thing. And they said you could just have it. Take it, walk out the store. Don't worry about paying for it. I'm like, really? Wow. <laughs> and um, back in um, when Charlotte Roos was still open before they closed completely down, I did buy um, a steamer. And um, I paid $65 for it. And here today I walk in the shop call in Chippewa. They had the exact same model steamer and everything. A Jiffy steamer just like mine. And a lot better shape than mine. <laughs> and they wanted $25. I'm like, what the... Eat beat, basically, as you would put it. And, um... I'm like, if I would have waited, and I would have paid $25 for theirs, at Shackle, and said, buy the one at Charlotte Roos. <laughs> I would have been able to even sell that and made a lot of money if I wanted, you know. Um. Because <laughs> my eBay, whenever I sell, I didn't get to choose some, my, um, what my eBay is. eBay did for me. So they said, I am Lavo Peter. 
<laughs> on eBay. So, um, pretty much.